because trees have been around for millions of years, insects like beetles and moths literally look like sticks and leaves in order to blend themselves from predators. How long do you think it will take for insects to look like man-made objects, and what object will it be? Any thoughts? Probably rather subtle like more gray-black camouflage to blend in with tarmac concrete and metals. Edit, you guys can stop bugging telling me about the moths now thank you. Yeah, everyone is listing things that humans are likely to interact with but the bug wants to look like something everyone would ignore. How would a bug camouflage itself as climate change? Extinction Shit man would you look at that, turns out animals are adapting at a faster rate every year. Well, that's not very neat. That's not pretty neat. How not neat is that? Oh wow not score. You can tell it's sad because of the way that it is. I don't know if this counts, but it's already happened. Ha I guess when you die easily and have frequent generations you can adapt quicker. Which I just realized is how bacteria and viruses work. Well more like I knew that and now feel silly for not realizing other things can evolve quicker. That's part of the reason fruit flies are so often used for genetic studies. Exactly. It drives me crazy when people critique scientific studies funding because oh lol dollar two mil to look at flies. $850,000 for putzing around with tadpoles. Like would you rather they do these tests on humans first or? These people don't generally understand the concept of a model organism. The fact that you can, say, give fruit flies Parkinson's, and that you can grow fresh ones from egg to adult in roughly a week, make them astonishingly useful for studying a wide variety of things. A fruit fly with Parkinson sounds like the main character in a children's book. It goes bbbbbzzzz. I was trying to imagine what would be most helpful for blending and my first thought was a metallic moth butterfly to specifically blend into metal mirrors glass, but then I thought that's probably not somewhere they'd want to sit extended amounts of time and also the higher amount of those materials around the lower amount of flutter boys. Then I started thinking what's an environment with a ton of both bugs and man-made objects together and my first thought was rural areas and farms. Imagine a stick bug type insect but camouflage to look like a nail sticking out of wood, or maybe a moth that instead of looking like bark looks like finished and varnished wood grain. How the fluttering duck would something camouflage into a mirror? Could become reflective itself perhaps? Would be better off looking like a water splash mark. But then people would try to wipe it off, only exacerbating the blemish on the mirror. Then you want to look like something nobody wants to touch. There's a reason why looking like bird poop is a fairly common camouflage strategy. So, you wouldn't clean your mirror if there was bird poop on it? No. I could see a cigarette butt beetle. When people are around it just stops moving on the ground. Mostly found on beaches and along state highways. Toasty at home award? I'm honored and humbled. See, they will begin to look like our vehicles, and then, they begin to turn into them and grow while the humans leave Earth, but they gain intelligence matched by ours and take over the world. Then, cue up Cars movie and watch that with the idea I took it from there and the Pixar theory. 2070, the VW Beetle has been replaced with actual beetles. Scarabs, then. Imagine a ducking and biting you. I'm imaging it unfolding legs like a pill bug. Well now I am, great, thanks frown. I don't know how long but they'd probably choose to look like a cigarette butt or turn yellow and red to blend into a McDonald's cup. The most common trash I come across. All those years of evolution just for some bum to come along and try to smoke you. Fun answer, I'd like to see some TV remote insects practical answer, human technology and culture evolves orders of magnitude faster than living organisms do. Imitation will never catch up to human technology. Slow evolution is also the reason many animals can adapt to a rapidly changing world edit. People keep telling me about the moths that evolved to blend into polluted cities. Thanks for sharing, but I don't give a duck about speckled wings. I came here for a TV remote insect. Go big or go home. Based on how often my TV remotes seem to disappear, I think this may already be happening. So that's where mimics come from. 
Don't have an answer for you but I wanted to let you know that's a cool question. I second this sentiment. Don't you know? Many bugs have already adopted the round beauty of the Volkswagen Beetle. Its timeless appearance is sure to be tasteful even after the fourth ice age. But sadly, as the fifth ice age approaches, it will be beaten out by an even better shape. Isn't this the whole mimic monster concept of Dungeons and Dragons? Chess lying for too much long time on caves and dungeons, making mimic monsters that used to blend with rocks to start to mimic the chest appearance. Mimic coins bugs, mimic jewelry insects. If mimics were a thing Earl they would look like Amazon boxes and sit on porches waiting to eat an unwary porch pirate. When the dildo gets up and walks off after laying eggs in in your vagina. A dildo was for whatever my first thought. Just imagine seeing a purple dick flying around when you're going for a peaceful walk through nature. Life a finds a way. Flying dick my ass. Ah, good old number 527 from her jokes. Spiders will soon camouflage themselves as iPhones. How can you camouflage as something that goes obsolete every six months? It could work if they look like Nokia's. 2250 at the teleport pad inside the Walmart. Man look at that Nokia phone hanging on the wall. Those things really were destructible like Grandpa said. And it just figures that Walmart still has a wall phone even though that technology has been obsolete for 500 years. Wall phones were definitely obsolete in 1750. Non-existent yet, but also most definitely not used by anyone at the time. Shards of hard plastic would probably be ideal for some insects also thinking jellyfish may take on platic water bottles all that to say, evolution doesn't really work this way. Advantageous traits appear randomly and expands out if it is dominant as well. Part of what has made so many lineages of hominids get boiled into one with very mild variability with the strongest difference being between men and women. Turtles will figure out the plastic bags thing. Jellyfish will become plastic bags. You have it backwards of course. Insects, like beetles and moths have been around for millions of years and trees have evolved to blend themselves in so as not to be taken advantage of a safe harbor. Insects are evolving into a real life prop hunt. Dope. God I hope they bring that mode back for the new MW. Healthy Relationships Peak Evolution Siggy Butt Insects Man Face Stink Bugs Look Like My Uncle Moths already do this. During the Industrial Revolution in the UK the pepper moth had the population changed to blend in with the soot from the factories. See here. Urk, there is a moth that lives on birch trees and so evolved to match the color of the bark. Nearby pollution stained all the trees dark and the moths lost their camouflage. In a few decades, they had evolved to be darker and began to blend in again. The peppered moth. I don't know how long but they'll probably look like trash. Honestly, bits of plastic. Long after we are gone, our plastic bits and pieces will still be floating in the oceans, or washed up on beaches, or scattered and crumbling, decayed cities. The plastic will break down so slowly that it's possible we could see new emerging species or subspecies that begin to resemble certain bits of common plastic. It could maybe even be more of a textural color or even scent thing, i.e. a beetle that looks and smells a bit like a piece of a tire, which I think most predators would find unappealing. Millions of years? They're not camouflaged in order to blend in. They're camouflaged because it helped their ancestors. A rock doesn't roll down a hill in order to reach the bottom, after all, and similarly, natural selection happens naturally, i.e., without intention. Camouflaging needn't take long. It can happen in a few generations. I have little speculation about the object that you've prompted me to speculate about. I feel like man-made objects change way too often for any creature to adapt to camouflage to them. Name something man-made that has been around and maintained the same appearance for more than a hundred years, contemplate whether that will be around for the hundreds of thousands millions of years necessary for that type of evolutionary trait to develop for a critter to be able to camouflage to that, discount everything that doesn't seem to fit the criteria and you're left with what? Nothing other than the same natural resources that have been around since before the beginning of humanity.